Hello again, guys. Well, today I'm feeling really inventive, so I hope you're liking my videos because uh, I have a, a lot coming up. Um, I've been experimenting again with pistons and I managed to create a little hourglass. So let's see it working. So, yep, that's it. It will continue for around 30 seconds or maybe a minute, something like that, a short delay. Basically what it is, it's just like this uh, structure, this um, made of glass with a long column of sand on the top and just a piston slowly pushing the sand in as if it was uh, just little grains of sand. Basically, when you push the, the button, there's a little impulse that goes in the redstone that's underground all the way to here. Activates this torch, goes all the way up. Let me show you. There you go. Like this. And the column of sand that was here. Yeah, sorry about that, that's just literally a little glitch. But the column of sand that was here is pushed by this piston into this little hole. And now that the bottom, as you can see, there's a lot of sand. And it's held um, uh, in the bottom uh, like that. Why is the sand destroyed? Well, it's pretty simple. Let me just stop that because the sound is pretty annoying of these pistons. Um, so why is the, the block of sand destroyed when it falls here? Well, it's pretty simple. I put a repeater here. There's a lot of blocks that destroy sand when they're um, when they are uh, when they fall onto them. For instance, uh, redstone repeaters are one of them. Redstone torch is one of them. Pressure plates are one of them, and that's just an example. Basically, most blocks that are not complete blocks will destroy sand on contact. So um, something funny is that it will not destroy them when it's placed directly over them, as you can see. But it will indeed destroy them when they are placed at least one block over them. They all pretty much destroy sand. So, I hope you like the the hourglass, guys. The concept is pretty simple, as you saw. Oh, oh come on. Oh well. Okay, so the concept is pretty simple. You just push a button linked to repeaters that are on the loop activates the pistons many times and there's just little blocks of sand that um, come here. I also thought about doing something, uh, some kind of a, a long delay using this kind of a hourglass display. Um, what, how it would work would be simply, let me go back to the top, okay, would be simply instead of having a repeater here or any other, of, any other type of um, uh, semi-solid blocks well it would be a solid block so that the sand would uh, would stack on each other and um, there would be a redstone circuit underground um, let's say like this let me just give you an example of how it would look like okay just a, a really simple redstone circuit let's say like that uh, that's not supposed to be there like this with a hole here and instead of being a, a block of sand here, it would be um, empty all the way to the bottom. And um, there would be power here. Let me put a torch. So there will be power here. But it, um, since there's nothing here, the power does not um, reach here. So what would have to happen is uh, at some point, sand would stock, uh, not stock, would uh, stack all the way to here. And eventually like that. And if the redstone was straight, let me show you what I mean. Um, can't put 
redstone and glass, so I'm going to put that. If the redstone was a straight line like this, it would be supposed to be activated. For some reason, it doesn't work. Maybe it's because of the sand. I know that it works, for instance, with glass. Not even. Hmm, maybe it's because of the type of impulse. That's really weird. That's really, really weird. I know that glass can uh, can conduct uh, redstone. I've seen it in a video. Let me. Mm. Oh well, maybe it doesn't work anymore, or maybe I'm just mistaken. I don't know. Well, sorry about that, guys. I guess that's it for today. I hope you liked the uh, the hourglass, and uh, if you want, we'll build one for your own world and uh, have fun with it. Bye-bye.